Okay, hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the internal hard drive of your computer. My computer is a Lenovo Z5170 3 and uh, actually in this tutorial I'm going to tell you that how easy is uh, dismantling this computer uh, without taking into a kind of expert or someone who can charge you like at least uh, more than 10 euros. Uh, so I'm gonna just show you how to save a fair amount of money and uh, how to replace your broken hard drive with a new one which in this case I recommend you to use a solid state disk and SSD I'm gonna use a 480 gigabyte SSD Kingston which is very good I mean you can buy it from uh, local computer shops and you can also order it via Amazon or maybe other kind of uh, websites that are going to provide you with this type of products. Really, really cool. And I'm going to just show you how to mount it on your motherboard, and uh, it's very easy and cool. So the first thing that we need is a set of uh, screwdriver, which is quite uh, cheap. You can buy it from the tool shops. So uh, I already did uh, open all the screws and I put them here according to the order so that I don't forget but I'm going to just assemble everything back and uh, close them and mount them again on the on the board in the case. So first of all I'm going to just tell you that it's very easy in case of Lenovo Z series I mean uh, like Z50, 251 and 70 uh, so the first thing is to open the screws all uh, on the corners different corners and here and here and then this is very important that these three ones are for your keyboard so as soon as you open them your keyboard just starts getting a loose shape here uh, you have to start opening the keyboard like here by your finger it's very easy to continue and just push it opposite and then it will just lose and yeah and just take it out from the computer and without removing any wires you don't need to remove this wires you don't re need to remove the keyboard at all you just simply uh, remove the screws from for your DVD lighter and of course for your uh, hard drive there are three uh, uh, three screws you can remove them very easily very simply I already did that so it's very easy I'm just gonna show you the way uh, and the entire process. So I'm just put it back here because you don't need this anymore. So I don't want to have something loose from my computer. I will just open the clip and yeah, there we are. Just simply open your computer from the sun, I guess. Very easy. Just like that. And yes. So here is uh, uh, the RAM holder. I already have one uh, eight gigabyte RAM here, and I can also mount another one, but I don't need so. So here is your DVD writer, so I'm not going to touch it at all, even though you can simply uh, detach it from the board and then put it back again. So simple. But before everything, before touching uh, your hard drive, you better to remove the cable of your battery in order to prevent any kind of electric uh, damages or something to your motherboard. It's simply done here. So remove this. And uh, here uh, we have a wire for uh, Lenovo uh, Z Series 5170. I don't know what is this for, but uh, this wire just goes uh, at the top of our hard drive. I already removed my hard drive because uh, it's broken, so I send it to a computer center to recover my data. Uh, instead, I bought a new one, a new hard drive, which is. Uh, Kingstone and SSD is super fast and it's very uh, reliable, especially in case of having any physical damages for, for your computer. So for removing this wire, it's very easy. There is, is a clamp 
is simply lifted by your finger or something sharp. See, it's very easy, it's simple. And remove the wire. And here goes the time for mounting our new hard drive. So you shouldn't forget that uh, this hard drive has a frame and I already detached the frame from my old hard drive. The frame is something like this, 2.5 inch and it's quite small and fragile. So I'm gonna remove this uh, frame from the normal drive and simply load it on my new one. These are the screws of the holder. SSD hard drive is mounted on our, uh, on our motherboard and everything is ready. The last one is about the battery, so I'm gonna just attach the wire here. For easy, you just need to just take it here and push. There we go. So yeah, the, actually, at the first time, uh, when I realized that my hard drive is broken, uh, it showed some message like this, and I tried to fix it by checking my hard disk and something, but it didn't work, unfortunately. That's why yeah, I attempted to change the Windows, to reinstall my Windows, my operating system. But it didn't work as well, so I realized that, okay, my hard drive is broken, it doesn't work, so I just showed it to some expert, and uh, yeah, he told me that, okay, your hard drive is, is, is gone. So that's why I tried to uh, change my hard drive, but I decided not to use a normal hard drive, but SSD one. That's what I really recommend you to, to buy. I know that it's absolutely expensive, especially this one, but uh, I think it is worth the extra expense. So 
your data, your information will be safe, and of course you will be having a kind of super fast computer. Why not? It's, it's super good. So I'm doing, uh, I'm installing my new operating system. I decided to choose Windows 10 Pro. So when I put it on a flash, a USB flash. Memory. Yes. Okay guys, as you saw here, we simply changed our hard drive, and in this case I use an SSD drive, which I really recommend you to use it as well, it's really good and cool, looks like it's working very well, and the Windows is uh, already installing, and it looks like so fast, apparently, yeah, it's really fast, it's pretty cool. Uh, so the only thing that you need is a, is a set of screwdriver, and that's it. And this video, of course, would help you to remove the case uh, to, to dismantle the entire computer and then remove the hard drive, your previous hard drive, and replace it with a new one. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you find this video useful and good luck. But don't forget not to break the computer.